Hello, my name is Claire DeFries and I'm the programme leader for the BSc Honours in Veterinary Nursing, which is a joint programme um, run by Middlesex University and the College of Animal Welfare. Um, I'm a veterinary nurse and I've been veterinary nursing for about 22 years now um, and I still work in practice part time where I help um, support student veterinary nurses and um, the emergency provision for a, a, quite a large hospital in North London. Um, over the years, in terms of um, what I've been able to do in my career, I've worked in first opinion, small animal practice. I also worked in a university teaching hospital um, where I got to take part in procedures that involved um, heart surgery, um, including bypass and um, valve replacements, intensive care, diagnostic imaging, um, including MRI and CT, and various other sort of interesting cases. So your veterinary nursing qualification can really lead on to some, some quite interesting um, parts of your career. Um, so in terms of an overview of the course, um, it's a BSc Honours um, degree and it runs over three years, um, which is quite unique. Um, and if you add, if you want to do a foundation year on the front, then it's a four year honours programme. Um, we offer the, the programme at all of our campuses, which are Hendon, um, Huntingdon and Leeds. But currently the foundation year is only available at our Huntingdon campus. Um, the delivery method of our programme um, is, is a variety. It's a blended programme and takes place on campus where there's lectures and seminars, but also there's a lot of online learning that helps prepare for modules and also um, revise for assessments and add to the lectures and seminars that you might be attending. We have a dedicated online team who help and support with online learning as well as dedicated tutors for the modules who will usually have professional experience in that specific area um, for the module. Um, and they will be either veterinary surgeons, veterinary nurses and sometimes human nurses who also deliver on the programme at some of our campuses. So what to expect from the course? I think it's important to remember that it's a professional programme. So um, it, it's quite intense and it, it's, you're not able to miss aspects of it. You're, you're expected to be in attendance and that's both for theory and practical. The way the course is structured is that um, it, there's blocks of theory and placement. So you're always learning and you're always applying the theory to practice. So you don't have these long periods of time where you're in an academic situation and not applying what you're learning. Um, so when you come into first year, there's an academic block to start with, which looks at um, various topics that will prepare you for your first placement block um, in terms of professional issues, basic nursing care and functional anatomy. Um, and then once these modules are completed, you then go out into placement to apply that learning. Um, whilst you're in placement, there is online learning that continues and is supported by online tutors. Um, and then once that, that practical experience is completed, you then come back into university to do your exams. We take the same approach in the second year and the third year, and it's very much a spiral curriculum in terms of building what you've already learned in the first year as you go into second year. Um, so again, there's placement blocks with online learning and then theory blocks to consolidate everything that you've been doing. And um, when you move into third year, um, this is where you can start choosing elective modules. So there, there will be some compulsory modules, but you'll be able to choose an elective module and also a topic for your dissertation. Um, and at that point, you'll be allocated a supervisor for your dissertation. So you're very much then into a, an independent way of learning and, and driving your own learning and, and assessment. Um, there's also a, a placement block in the third year which follows the academic um, and that would be your final placement block that mops up, mops up all the practical skills that you've been learning throughout the course. Um, the requirements are for the BSc Honours 96 UCAS points minimum and if you want to do the foundation year leading into the BSc Honours a minimum of 48 UCAS points. 
The other thing about veterinary nursing to remember is it is very competitive. Lots of people want to get into veterinary nursing and work with animals. So it's important that if you're thinking about making an application and writing a personal statement that you try and really sell yourself um, and get as much experience as you can with animals, particularly in veterinary practice, but also other areas, farms, kennels, catteries, um, and any sort of animal work experience looks really good on an application. Um, for the requirements, there's the university requirements in terms of UCAS points and experience, um, but we also need to consider that we have a regulatory body because we're a professional programme. Um, and so the minimum requirements, if you want to enter the, the veterinary nurse register um, with the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons is five GCSEs at A to C, including English, Maths and Science. There are alternatives, so absolutely, you know, when we say we welcome applications from all different types of students, you know, there are alternatives, so please don't let that put you off. Okay, in terms of the, the gains and the benefits from this course, um, you will end up on joining once you graduate joining the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons um, Registered Veterinary Nurse Register, which means you can work in the UK in veterinary practice um, and abroad because the qualification is very well recognised abroad. Um, and there will be a range of opportunities that that will follow on from having a degree. Um, and there's, there's other routes to training for veterinary nursing in terms of level three diploma. Um, but having a degree would give you that extra um, employability that you could think about working in referral practice and specialising. Um, so there's a lot of vet programmes on the TV, which you've probably seen, um, which look at vets that specialise, let's say, in orthopaedic surgery or soft tissue or internal medicine, intensive care. Um, and your degree is going to really put you in a, in a position where you can utilise those skills and specialise in a certain area. Um, you can also look at going into teaching, um, research and other industry type jobs, for example, pharmaceutical or new pet nutrition companies. Um, there's loads of scope for travelling abroad and working in conservation and various other areas if, if that is of interest. And we have elective modules in year three which will help prepare you for that. Um, for example, there's an international veterinary nursing module which means you can travel and um, there's also modules that specialise in certain species, exotics and wildlife for example or um, equine or companion animal um, training and behaviour. So there's a, there's a wide range of opportunities that will extend from having a, a BSc honours in veterinary nursing. So in terms of how to apply for the course, um, applications are through UCAS um, and there is a, a range of information available on the College of Animal Welfare website and also the Middlesex University website. Um, once you've submitted your application, um, that will be reviewed and we the way we interview is that we interview all year round. And again, there's a flexible approach. Interviews can be can take place at any of our campuses. Hendon, Leeds, Huntingdon and we're also able to interview online if you're an international student for example or you're unable to travel. Uh, we also interview all year round um, so it means that if you're prepared and you apply early then you can be interviewed early and know that you've got an offer for a place the, fol the following ac academic year. Um, if you have any questions then please contact us to find out more and we can um, get in contact with you to provide individual um, support for your application.